Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on and thanks very much for watching the video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to Asda. Come and have a look what I got. I seen this was new. Now, whether this was on social media on my Instagram, I noticed this. Um, new Chicago Town Weekender Stuffed Crust Salt and Pepper Chicken. What a mouthful. <laughs> Ooh, that is a mouthful. Look at that. Ooh, gooey. Um, fan oven cooking, 18 minutes, stuffed with tomato sauce. Oh. Now, this was five pounds. Five pounds, eh? Hey, that's cheap for a pizza, isn't it? Let's be honest. <laughs> if you want to get a takeout pizza, you want to see the prices of them. Anyway, let's have a look at the box. Little traffic light system there, look. Quarter of a cup pizza. Now, it's a pizza. It's going to be fatty, isn't it? It's going to be absolutely a fatty. Salt and pepper chicken. I can't wait for this. There is the nutritional information in more detail. If you want to take note of that, pause it. By all means, go ahead. A little bit of spiel about it. I'll only read that top bits. Tomato sauce, stuffed crust pizza, base topped with salt and pepper, tomato sauce. A blend of mozzarella and mature cheddar cheese. Salt and pepper, butter, Seasoned cooked chicken, red and green peppers. And they are the ingredients there, look. And the allergens in there are wheat, mozzarella cheese, cheddar, butter and barley. If you want to pause that and have a look at all them. Here are the ways to cook the cooking instructions. Preheat your oven, fan 180, conventional oven, 200 degrees, 400 Fahrenheit, gas mark 6. There it is, look. Have a look at that. Remove all packaging and place that pizza on a baking tray. I'll need to pop one in the oven and get it preheated. <laughs> I've got the oven on. I will get one of them in there now. There's loads of uh, information on here if you want to have a look at that. Raw, raw dough for you to bake at home. Look at all this. You can scan here as well if you, you know, if you're up to date with your old technical skills. You can scan that using your phone. Your barcode, it should have one on if you've got an up-to-date phone. Alternatively, look Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Well, I'm on Facebook and Instagram as Ball Foodie Guy. Uh, anything else on there? 692 grams. Oh, look at that. Ooh. We need to get it open, don't we? Is there a tab system on here? Um, there isn't a tab system, so we're just going to go for the old butchering technique. I'm quite good at that anyway, I've mastered the old butchering technique. Oh, that's pretty good actually, I'm quite impressed. There it is, look. There it is. I mean, it's a treat, isn't it? Let's be honest, it is a treat. There's quite a lot of toppings on there as well. I will get it out of its... Um, I will show you now. Got a knife. Always good to have a knife and handy. Always away from yourself as well. You don't want to stab yourself or cut yourself here. Top tip that. Have a look at that, let's get all them toppings on there. You can spread them around, at, um, you know, you can spread them around. You can even add to it if you want, it's up to yourself, you do what you like. It's your pizza, end of day. So I'm quite happy with the amount of topping on there, it looks quite generous as well. It does, and so, so it should be as well. I mean, five pounds, I mean, yeah, but it's a treat, isn't it? And it's a lot cheaper than getting one from your takeaway, isn't it? Cool, some of them takeaway places, are oh, they're so expensive. But they do taste good, man. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to get it on a tray and I'm going to get it in the oven. This was a lovely gift sent to me. It's red hot. Can't touch it. It was a lovely gift sent to me. Let's get that on there. Now, let's get it in the oven. Thank you very much for sending me that tray. It's in there. It's in there. Now, I did it at 180. I'm in the centre of the oven. Preheated the oven. And you have to turn it halfway through, so that's what I'll do. But I'll, it says between 18 and 23 minutes. So I've put it on for 10 minutes on the timer, and then I'll turn it round and see what it's like. Because <laughs> it's an old cooker. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. That really does help the channel. Um, I'm going to go live this Friday night at 8 o'clock. If you've been following me for a while and... Um, you know I'll go live every now and again. I'm going live Friday night, 8 o'clock. Please 
tune in, say hello. Answer me, give me a question. I'll, I'll always try and talk to everyone. I know it's difficult. I'll, I'll try and slow the chat down, depending on how many people we get in. And uh, I'll try and answer all your questions. I'm not drinking. I'm off the drink. I have, it'll be three weeks this weekend. I am having a bit of a, I'm giving me liver a holiday. I'm giving me body a bit of a rest when it comes to the old beer. So I won't be drinking. So I'll be compass mentors. <laughs> we'll do a quiz. And it should go, uh, should go okay. Right, I'll bring you back when this pizza is um, done. Feast your eyes. It's done. Uh, it didn't take 18 minutes. It took me 21. Let me see if I can get a bit of better light for you. Have a look at that. Oh, yes. Look at that. Time to get into it. Right. Let's have a look at this. I hope it's done. It looks done. Oh, I've not done that very well, have I? <laughs> Look at that half. I think I'll have this half. <laughs> uh, so, let's see how many, how many pieces I'm going to do. I'm, I, can, I can manage four. If I, if I cut it up anymore, I'm going to struggle eating it. <laughs> the old ones are the best. Let's just get into it. Move that out of the way. See what you think. Oh yeah. Have a look at that. It's a treat this isn't it? It really is a treat. Look at this. There's the, the tomato sauce crust. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into this now. and Don't worry I'm not using that. I'm not using a knife and fork. Let me know if you use a knife and fork to eat pizzas. I'll be very interested to see. Well, not to see, but to know. <laughs> Let's have a go. Let's get into it. Salt and pepper. I will just uh, adjust the... There, that's better. You're not too close then. <laughs> there it is, look. Salt and pepper chicken. Ooh. God, that is tasty. God, that is tasty, yeah. <sighs> we got a bit of a hanger on here. Mm. Try and get a serviette or a napkin, depending on where you are in the world. Let me get into that bit, it's got a bit of chicken on. It is lovely, by the way. Mm. I'm getting the, the salt and pepper flavouring th through. Um, it's a bit like when you get salt and pepper chips at your local Chinese. Um, it's got that sort of a, a, a taste, exactly the sort of same taste as your salt and pepper chips. That'll be the seasoning that, that they put on it. It's well cooked, look at that, it's well cooked. It's it's just, it's a cracker, it really is. Chicago Town, they do good pizzas, they really do. This is as good as any pizza that you get from your takeaway. Mmm. The, 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 what it needs is a bit of garlic mayonnaise to dip these crusts in. A little pot of that would be absolutely perfect. Mm. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> it's lovely, it really is. It's not too salty. It's, it's, you can get the, the, the salt and pepper um, seasoning is coming through. It says salt and pepper chicken. The chicken is lost in it, obviously. It's it's gonna have to be massive pieces of chicken for you to sort of like, you know, go. Oh, that's chicken's lovely. You know, it, it really is. Mm. But it is it's it's good. It really is good. I do like that. It's got it's packing plenty of flavour, and that's what you want. Just top toppings are generous. It's a good it's a good pizza. It really is. I would definitely buy that again. 
Thanks very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I'm going to go, like I say, go live Friday night. Please join me at 8 o'clock. Thanks for the, for the channel membership when you join that as well. Do appreciate that as well and watching. That's good. That's a 9 out of 10. It's really good. Take care. All the best. And I'll catch you on the next one.